chest. That's awesome. What? Okay, this short video is actually a part of a 21 minute case study in my composite fine art series. So if you wanna see the tips, processes, and techniques for completing a project from start to finish, compositing one guy into three different scenes in a fairly quick way, go check that out. I'll have the link in the description. So the way to get started with composites is making sure you understand the best way to get two images or more together in Photoshop. As with anything in Photoshop, you can do anything a hundred different ways. But I would suggest that there are ways that are really slow and clog up your memory. And there are ways that are crazy fast and they don't use up any of your memory, like, you know, more production. So I'm going to show you four ways, kind of rated from slowest to fastest and best. You can use whatever way you want, but here's how I would approach it. So first, let me show you the slowest way that I see a lot of my students doing. They'll find an image in Bridge, double click it so it launches in Photoshop and loads. Go back to Bridge, click on another image by double clicking so it auto loads. And then it's like the old technique, command A to select all, command C. And again, this is even knowing some keyboard shortcuts because you could go to the menu items every time and then go back, click on the tab where you want it and command V it. Okay, it didn't quite fit in the screen. So now I have to command T it to get the free transform. So I can either make this bigger or I can stretch it up, resize it, stretch it up, what, whatever I need to do, hit enter, unlock that background, pull the guy on top, Okay, now I can mask him out to show, and I'll just do a very quick object selection. It's not going to be great, but it'll be it'll be okay for this super quick demo. Get it figured out, and I'd add a layer mask so I can quickly get there. But you saw how many clicks it took just to get to that point. So let me show you another way that's I would say is the next step up. So let's say the student has done the same thing where they've opened each individual image. So here's the next best way. Click on the layer, drag it over to the tab that you want it, and then pull it back down. That's a pretty reasonable way, right? I still have to click over here to unlock. I still have to pull this to the top, right? But that's still good. I didn't waste any of my RAM. Photoshop remembers 20, the last 20 things you did. So if you're copying 50 meg files and pasting them into other documents, you do that 10 times, that's half a gig of your RAM just being wasted in the background. You see what I mean? So if, if over the course of a couple of hours, you do that 20 times, well, all of a sudden you've used a whole gig of your RAM doing nothing but copying and pasting. So this dragging method is great because it doesn't occupy your RAM at all. Now let me show you another way. Let's say I have one image open already. So I'll go back to bridge and just slide your bridge over and just click and drag it into the Photoshop window and release. It auto fits to the screen as a smart object, allowing me already to have the free transform handles. So I don't have to command, I don't have to hit command or control T so that I can do this. See how, I mean, that was, that was quicker. So that's the third way. Now I'm going to close all of this. I'm going to show you the quickest way, my favorite way. This this works best if you you already know what images you want to start the composite with. So I'll command click one image and I'll command click this image and then I'll go up to the top toolbar for Adobe Bridge, click on tools. I'll come down to Photoshop and I'll go load files into Photoshop layers. And this is where the magic happens. I click it. It does all that stuff that we did automatically for me. Notice I have no background layer to unlock. It's fit all the images together in the same scene. So I don't have to do any command or control T just to get it to fit. So it, it did all that for us and it's not wasted any of our RAM. So that's how I would approach getting your images to start for compositing. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes! Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. I should have. Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>